Welcome to Sports Science Tutor. This is an exclusive SPSS tutorial series brought to you by Sports Science Tutor. For the rest of this series, please visit sportsciencetutor.com slash SPSS. Data entry. So when you open up SPSS, you are presented with the data editor, which can be seen on the screen right now. And with regards to this data editor, there are two view modes that you need to have an awareness. These are the data view and the variable view. So currently we're on a variable view, which you can see as that's highlighted in bold now. And if we click onto data view, the screen changes and data view becomes highlighted in bold. And data view is essentially a big spreadsheet with a series of columns and rows. So each row is dedicated to a particular case or variable and each column is dedicated, so each row is dedicated to a particular case or subject and each column is dedicated to a particular variable. So if I now just copy and paste some uh, data into the spreadsheet, we can see that SPSS has now given each column a variable name, variable 1, variable 2, variable 3. The trouble is that's not very informative or descriptive. So it would be useful to head over to variable view now in order to give these names, uh, these variables, some more descriptive names. So if we click on variable view here and we head over to the column in variable view that's uh, titled name, then we can click on each of these respective cells to provide some more descriptive names. And I might go ahead and type in body mass um, in this first cell and then click enter and you see that this um, icon comes up here saying that the variable name contains an illegal character. We don't need to worry too much about this. This is just because I had a space in between body and mass. Whenever that comes up, just play around with it until you come up with something acceptable to SPSS. So I'm going to, in this case, just put an underscore in between body and mass and SPSS is able to accept that. And so I might do the same with the next variable, which may be something like VO2 max. So again, I might do VO2, and then instead of a space, I might have an underscore before writing max. And then my third variable might well be uh, something like gender. Okay, so I've given my uh, variables some more descriptive names and if we head back over to data view we can see that each uh, column has a more descriptive uh, title for the variables now so that makes it more easy to um, understand your spreadsheet as you're going along but there may be other variable properties that we want to change in addition to this for example if we look at the column titled gender we can see that each cell has a number uh, one or two as opposed to stating whether um, a subject is male or female and that's just because SPSS prefers to deal in numbers uh, rather than with characters and so again that presents perhaps a little bit of a problem in terms of remembering whether a one represents a male or a female um, and so we might want to head back over to variable view and head over to the um, the column entitled values and in this situation we want to click on the cell type, uh, corresponding to gender and then if we click on this box here we can uh, type in one under value and that might correspond to males so in labels uh, we'll type in male click on add and then we can do the same for females so we'll type in number two we'll type in female click add then click OK and then once again if we head back over to variable view and then click on this icon here we can see that the um, cells in the column corresponding to gender now tell us uh, whether our subjects are male or female and if we want to revert back to the numbers just revert, go back to this icon and we can click back and forth between the uh, numerical values or the actual descriptive uh, name that we've given to those numerical values.